Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. I hope you're well and uh, if you're new to this channel, my name is Joe and I will be doing a reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, okay? Aries, as usual, always keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general, so just take whatever resonates. Leave the rest behind. And the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless and that's usually how it always works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the previous readings that I've done for your sign. But Aries, more than anything, do check what other signs you have in other placements, mostly Moon, Rising, and Venus. Don't just focus on your Sun sign. And then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done uh, specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading at this moment. Sometimes that happens. It just usually means that your messages are just uh, simply coming stronger from those placements. It all depends on your current life path and journey. Last but not least, please do subscribe. Hit the like button, leave a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support each channel and to help it grow. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate all of your support. Thank you very, very much. All right, Aries. Okay, let's get started with your reading. Let's see what we have for you. Aries, um, it's kind of, uh, I, I'm going to say it because it's just kind of weird, but I was thinking about this card for some reason, okay? Um, because I saw it the, while I was shuffling and it, it kind of like burned in my memory. And for some reason, it just popped out. So, um, Aries, you're meant to have some type of victory and success here. Six of Wands talks about that. Talks about being in the spotlight. Um, some type of validation probably but you're meant to succeed you're meant to achieve something okay and you should not allow anything to stop you um Aries there will be people that will try to prevent you from having this success in life or whatever you're trying to achieve okay there will be people you're meant to have this success okay once you get it there will be people that are not going to be very happy with that okay this is people that are um you know they they don't have the best intentions for you they just don't want to see you happy they just don't want to see you succeed okay um there's a lot of envy I think some of you are already going through this type of success. Just, you know, let's just call it overall life success. And um, yeah, I think there's people that are just not happy or will not be happy seeing you in this position, okay? So whether you're already going through this or you're meant to go through this, you know, you're meant to succeed, okay? Crossing you, challenging you, we've got the Four of Cups, Aries, um, you might be at some times in life, you know, when you're not happy with the results. I think there is a lot of this, and this comes from other people, thoughts, ideas, that have tried to stop you, tried to stop you from achieving the success. Uh, we get programmed, we are taught to just settle for less and stop trying uh, to go for more, you know. But this is you settling for less and not being happy with the results. You know you're meant to have something better. You, you know you're meant to have more in life, you know. And you can't let this energy get the best of you to the point where you're just going to sit and, you know, just, just suck it up, literally, okay. And even if you're not happy with what you have, you're meant to have you're meant to have more. That's the whole point here, okay? And there might be energies that are trying to keep you stuck like this, okay? People 
I don't know, even society, family members, you know, they're always there. Sometimes they try to protect us, but we are somehow always told, you know, um, that maybe we shouldn't go and try to do something dumb, you know, or take more risks in life, that we should just settle for less and just stay where things are safer for us, you know, but not allowing us to expand, to grow, to experience and to move towards what we are meant to have in life. So Aries, uh, yeah, don't stay sitting like this. Um, like I said, just settling for less and just accepting what you have and, and not allowing to have more. Okay. Uh, you have to remember that you came to this life for a purpose and Sometimes our, our life purpose calls us and that's when we're going to have more um, people or energies that are going to, they're going to challenge us. There will be more um, resistance for us to, to go after what we desire or whatever we are meant to go or move towards to, okay? Because once we start Experience, experiencing resistance in our life or in our path, it means that you're on the right path, okay? But there will be energies that are going to try to keep you like this, you know, because they're going to tell you, stay here, stay, it's safer for you, you know? Conscious mind, you are aware of this, you're constantly thinking about it. It's the seven of wands. We've got the six of wands, we've got the seven of wands. This is fighting for your dreams, fighting for what you believe in, going after what you what you want and you know what Aries this is you not allowing any other forces or energies to poke at you you're in a higher ground you have to understand that you are in a better level maybe you already know that I don't know because this is in your conscious mind but you have to keep fighting keep keep going okay and don't let anything drag you down to their level don't let anything poke you try to keep keep you stuck okay you stay strong Aries you keep believing in what you believe and you fight for it okay you fight for your dreams you remember that your life is your life and nobody else can decide what is best for you okay like I said there is resistance great it means you're on the right track but you have to take action you have to go after this um, achievement okay don't stay don't think that you have to stay where you're at no you don't okay this below you your subconscious mind you're not aware of it or you, you should see this more clearly you know uh, this is usually our angels or our guides trying to tell, tell us this the moon Piscean energy they want you to embrace the mystery they want you to trust uh, you know there's a lot of mystery a lot of darkness because the moonlight is you know it's not as clear as the sunlight but they want you to trust the path you're on even if things are not as clear as daylight okay but you have to embrace the mystery don't fear and so you're meant to answer to a calling this might be a purpose maybe it could be one not your life purpose, but one of your, you know, we, we can't just, you know, we have many tasks in life. And um, anyway, we have a domesticated dog and a wild wolf, and both are howling at the moon, which is this divine force or energy, you know. The domesticated dog is learning to do this for the first time, you know. It has never howled at the moon the way the wolf has done for many generations. I think this dog is breaking from dogmas, from old belief systems. And this, well, this is letting your inner wolf shine, right? So this is you answering to a divine calling. And there's a lot of protection, all these little leaflets that you see, they're called yachts and... Uh, that's some type of divine protection. You're meant to answer to this calling. Okay, that's our first major account of the reading. But it's a very one of the strongest because Piscean energy uh, can be very um, 
how would I say, it can be confusing. There's a lot of mystery to it, you know. Don't let it get the best of, it, of you. Just embrace it. Embrace the mystery. Okay, don't, don't, don't be afraid of anything. Now, behind you, recent past, or where you're coming from, or the, I guess, the reason why you're going through this, Ace of Wands, that's your energy, fire energy. This is about a new beginning, a fresh new start. The purpose for you to go through whatever you're going through is to have a new beginning, a fresh new start. And it talks about not letting your inner spark go out, don't let your magic go out. It also talks about that mystery, you know. Um, just go after it. Something new, something fresh, something very exciting. It's time for a new chapter. Okay? But you have to remember that whatever you go after, make sure that it makes it it excites you. Okay? There has to be some type of thrill to it. Okay? Very passionate energy. So it's about maybe you have in your recent past just become aware about this maybe maybe a new creative idea just sparked you know and you shouldn't just ignore it I think you're meant to to move towards it and start well if you have to fight and defend it you know sometimes Aries it is best to not talk about our plans too much maybe the moon because it talks about secrets you know in your subconscious mind maybe the divine or your spirits or angels guides uh, they're telling you, you know, um, Aries, maybe you want to just keep things a little more to yourself right now, okay? Talks about secrets, so, you know, it talks about that mystery. So, you have a, a wonderful idea, might as well, you know, not talk too much about it. And uh, stand strong and defend it, if you feel that you have to. But by no all means, do not stay like this, just settling for less you know i think you want more i think you really do you're telling me that with this card okay i don't think you're 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 happy with the way things have really turned out for you so far or you're just not happy with the current events of your life right now okay now in front of you where you headed to or where you meant to go to or near future for some of you it's the three of pentacles three of pentacles sometimes talks about coming together with others and co-working, cooperating, working together, you know. Maybe I always get this more of this energy with the Three of Pentacles, you know. So there's all this darkness in it. And, you know, I really think, Gary, is that you have been in an environment where you have not allowed yourself to shine the way you're meant to, you know. I think you know that you can do something better, more exciting, or just simply even yourself as a human, your, your, your human quality or your, your professional quality, I don't know, whatever it is, you know, you can do something better. You can perform some much better somewhere else and not in this dark environment where you're at, surrounded by these other individuals that are somehow probably just um, limiting you. You know, I think you know you want to do something better, brighter. You're meant to do something. I mean, I think you're meant to do your magic, and you're not doing it here. You're not being your true self, maybe. Maybe you feel that way, you know. There might be some type of restriction here. So, yeah, it's time for this new beginning with the Ace of Wands behind you. This is how you should see yourself or respond to situations. The Knight of Pentacles, you're meant to move forward. Never to stay, stay standing there, just stagnant. Looking at the horizon, you've got this pentacle, which is your energy. You're, just, you're supposed to start moving forward. Oh, you see that yellow energy? That solar plexus. You're meant to trust. You're meant to have confidence. You're meant to believe. You're meant to start taking these first steps forward. And, uh, you know, just, just start moving, you know, don't stay stagnant. And I don't think you have to rush 
take it a step at a time, okay? Little by little, but the important thing is that you start moving towards your dreams, your desires. You start projecting yourself out there to what you want to do, okay? Or what you want to achieve. There's so a lot of proper planning also, Knight of Pentacles, you know, it also said, you know, that's why I said, you know, don't rush, you know, just trust, have confidence, believe in yourself, believe in your ideas, stay strong. Oh, some of you think that you don't have the required skills or knowledge or maybe even the tools. You do, but you don't know that, okay? You just have to believe, trust, don't let anything, there might be even people telling you that, you know, oh, how are you going to do that? You don't have enough to do this or I don't know. You don't have the skills to do that or, well, you know, if you just start moving slowly and proper planning will always help you to start moving forward and to finally achieve the success. Energy surrounding you, there's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of this energy of in and out, uh, erratic Should I? Shouldn't I? But this comes from other influences, probably. And they're keeping you like this. Like, it's, you see, this this Knight of Wands is very opposite to this Knight of Pentacles. This, of course, has all four feet on the ground, you know. Or the legs, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> feet. Uh, don't even have feet. Um, but the, the four legs are, are, are on the ground. And this horse, um, is, you know, jumping kind of erratically. Two legs up in the air and, and it's just, you know, it's like out of control. So, yeah, it, there's a lot of in and out energy, a lot of uh, erratic behavior, uh, indecision. That's what it is. It's indecisiveness. And it's because these energies that are probably or whatever it is that you're dealing with that's keeping you from it's keeping in the state of settling for less because maybe it's safer it's maybe it's better you know you know uh, it's time to take control of this or be in control of this course you know control it and uh, start planning more, more solid energy, more decisive energy. Hopes and fears, we got the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. I think you do want to change in your life, okay? This is connected with your conscious mind because it's your hopes and your fears. It can be connected with the moon, which is your subconscious also. Sometimes there's this, you know, fear of not knowing what's going to happen. But you are ready for a change here. Maybe you're waiting for something to adjust and for you to take um, the right time for something. Uh, it's okay, it, proper planning, but uh, Aries, I am going to stress out that please uh, be very careful not to always wait for the perfect moment. It's never, it's never gonna happen. There's never a perfect moment. Uh, if you feel that the time is now for something, then that's what it is. The wheel of fortune sometimes tells us that, you know. The wheel is always spinning in our favor, but it's it's up to you when you want to take advantage of, of an opportunity, you know. Divine does not, or God does not bring us the opportunities. We make our own opportunities. We call the shots, okay? Um, don't wait for the magic moment to happen, okay? But uh, you're ready for a new change in your life. You're ready for a new beginning. And you're going to have to be strong, fight for it, and embrace the mystery. Okay? And go for it. This is a leap of faith. Even if I don't see the full card, I don't, I don't need to. Because I can, I can feel the, this energy here right now. Okay? Now the outcome or the advice is the Three of Wands. So I yell again, confidence. This is you maybe turning your back on something, turning your back on the old, turning your back on something that's just not working out for you, okay? 
But three, you see, it's that down, it's that opposite. Three of Pentacles is the energy. It's not working out for you. You're coming to the realization of that. You know, you discovering or starting to see that the, the environment where you're at is just not cutting it for you. So you have to turn it with three, three of Pentacles to the three of Wands. That's very passionate energy. Follow your passion and turn your back away on this and dare to experience something new. He's looking way across the ocean to this new faraway land. He's wondering into himself, you know, what's out there? You know, I would like to discover new things. I would like to try. I would like to put myself out there. This is you expanding or envisioning or projecting yourself somewhere else. Trust, okay. Have confidence and not divine timing, but do not rush things. Take your time and do do proper planning. Okay? Nine of Wands, that, it's just beautiful because this talks about you being trapped in this cage. You're not meant to stay here. You know, it's just like self-restriction somehow or you, you being, doesn't have to necessarily be self-restriction, but you are just hiding behind these bars, not wanting to get hurt. You've been hurt before. It could be that, but don't let your past circumstances or um, experiences uh, get you that way. You're meant to step out of this and shine. You're meant to do your magic. You're meant to do something, okay? Because you're a magician, it's time for you to manifest. You know, they're telling you right here, you have all the tools on the table. We've got the cups, the pentacles, the wands, and the swords. All you have to do is believe. You see all that yellow? Solar plexus energy. Okay? And the infant symbol and the crown chakra. That's just telling you that only your mind is the only thing that can stop you. Your belief system, you, the way you see or respond or perceive things. Okay? Your imagination is what can get the best of you. The possibilities are limitless. Okay? And then we've got the Page of Pentacles, which is time for a new beginning. You know, as the Knight of Pentacles, we've got all that yellow. That's nice. You see, you think that you don't have what is required to do whatever it is that you want to do, but you do. You just don't see it. You do have a horse, which is no ordinary horse. It's a stallion. You've got the armor. Nice shiny armor. You have the equipment, you have the tools, you have the expertise. But understand that, you know, you have to start small. You have to start small. And, you know, we're almost built in one day, Aries, okay? Just start moving. Take that seed, plant it somewhere else, and believe. Trust. Okay? All right, let's get additional messages, advice. Warnings, whatever has to come out, just in case uh, I might be missing something, or just to see what else comes out. Then we'll close your reading with uh, Woodland Warden's Oracle deck. Okay, there we are. I've got uh, the Hierophant, which is Taurus Energy. Some of you might be Aries. Taurus cuspers, not necessarily, okay? But this is just telling me about, you know, having faith, believing, believe that there's a higher force that's watching over you, supporting you, okay? And they want to see you. They want to see you well. They want to see you achieve the success, okay? What are the messages you have for Aries regarding this your situation, please? There's something else they need to know. What would it be? Anything else for Aries? Thank you. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? Wow. Four of Wands talks about being in a better environment. You see, from the Three of Wands, once you cross that gate, you reach this level where things are more 
harmonious. Let's just leave it that way. Okay, you're meant to be in a place where there's more harmony, not in this dark environment, situation, whatever you're dealing with. Okay. okay it's not that many. Let's just. Um, let me do, okay. Good. Okay, perfect. I got the Five of Wands, which talks about conflict, turmoil, resistance, just not being on the same page with others. You know, you're not meant to deal with this anymore. Very low vibrational energy. Move away from it. Move towards your Six of Wands. From the five to the six, move to your towards your dream, your victory, your achievement. Okay, five of pentacles. I think you are tired of dealing with whatever you are, or you know, very draining, very low vibrational energy. It's time for you to just get yourself out of this. You're not meant to stay like this. Five of one, five of pentacle energy. I'm sorry, it's just not not you're not meant to be here okay king of cups talks about your emotions some of you might heal might have to heal but also Aries are uh, remember to address your emotions and uh, don't let your emotions also get the best of you okay you're gonna have to be very emotionally strong too to keep going, to keep moving, maybe even leave something behind. Then I got the Ace of Wands again, okay? Here's, you're meant to have, have a new beginning here. Now, the Major Arcanas I got were Magician. I got it again. Okay, you're meant to manifest. You have all the tools, and the Infinite Symbol is right there above his crown chakra again, okay? Only your imagination can limit you, can stop you. Lovers is, there's something more divinely meant for you somewhere else. This is you connecting with your life purpose, being in a place where there's more harmony. Okay. Maybe you are being divinely guided towards something. And then I got the hangman, which is Piscean energy. Don't stay stuck. You don't have to stay in a place. Maybe even waiting to see if something resolve if something resolves changes or gets better now don't do that okay um, don't wait to see if there's some type of clarity also don't wait for the right time okay no uh, don't do that okay you have to you have to trust the time is now but just Proper planning and move slowly. Don't rush things. Okay, let's uh, close your reading with the Woodland Warden's Oracle deck. Okay. What are the messages you have for Aries with the Woodland Warden's Oracle deck, please? Just one card, please. I can make a jump. That would be nice. So that one. Do you see? You don't want me to take this card. Okay. <clears throat> Number thirty-seven. The coyote and Datura, which means deceit. Datura, Datura, Datura. I don't know. I don't know which flower that is. Number thirty-seven. So deceit says, in the Victorian language of flowers, Datura warns of deceitful charms. It's a beautiful flower but extremely poisonous and said to be an ingredient in the salve that allows witches to fly on their broomsticks. Likewise, coyotes are often depicted as tricksters known for their slyness and cunning. Okay. In the upright position, it says that you should beware the charming stranger before opening up to someone new. Consider that or consider what they may have to gain from your trust. 
in the reverse it says that now is the time to trust your instincts if your gut is, list, is telling you that something isn't right then you should heed the warning and two questions that you have to ask yourself with this card is one whom can i trust and number two is how do i show others i am worthy of their trust okay i hope that resonates for you somehow okay but Aries, uh, more than anything, I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And Aries, as usual, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.